So, um, as you heard from the previous speakers, um, Eric, um, the key word here is healthy aging, so, um, which cannot be achieved without a healthy mind. Um, so, you may have noticed that um, the cognitive function, um, the gap of the cognitive function widens substantially as we age. Some of us maintain at high, high levels, uh, not including me, um, <laughs> and some of, some of us unfortunately do not. Um, and in the worst case is uh, dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease, um, which is developed at accelerated rates uh, when we uh, grow older. So um, this aging-related uh, cognitive decline um, and dementia-related uh, cognitive de decline, um, I will refer to today as cognitive aging, um, just for simplicity. So uh, in the next few minutes, I want to tell you some of the ongoing research we, we are doing here at Glasson and in my laboratory to disrupt uh, cognitive aging. So um, what, is, what are the mechanisms? So what causes cognitive aging? Like other aging-related um, processes, cognitive aging is driven by interplay of genetic and environmental factors. And uh, um, that leads to cognitive decline via a cascade of mechanisms. And one such mechanism that I'm focusing on and introduced by Xiaomi and, uh, and Zhang is uh, the immune system. So as Xiaomi mentioned, um, immune system is responsible for our ability to fight against infections, which are often associated uh, with inflammatory responses and inflammation, the swelling, the redness, etc. cetera. Um, however, in aging brain and in dementia, um, this inflammatory state uh, persists that leading to a chronic inflammation. And we can detect this state of chronic inflammation um, with factors um, show me introduced uh, called pro-inflammatory cytokines. And cytokines are small molecule proteins um, that immune cells use to communicate with each other, um, but also communicate with other cells and in the brain uh, to communicate with, uh, with neurons. So, um, so what happens um, you know, to, to those um, uh, immune system? Uh, what we want to understand is what are those um, immune factors or, or pro-inflammatory cytokines do? And studies have shown that and, um, the levels of those inflammatory factors are elevated uh, in aging, in aging brain. And what is most also quite intriguing is that there is a negative correlation of the levels of those inflammatory cytokines with the memory. So the higher the levels and the worse off those, pe those people are. So you may say, oh, this is correlation, and correlation does not equal causality, and that's exactly what we think in the lab as well. So what we want to find out is which of those factors are the driving force, not just bystanders, and how those, driving, uh, how those factors that are the driving force are upregulated, and what can we do about it? So now I'm going to bring you to the lab. Um, so we... The, our starting point is, what is the source of this brain inflammation? And locally, in the brain, the inflammation is produced by the immune cells in the brain, which are different from the immune cell cells that uh, Shomi mentioned in the periphery. And we call them glia. So glia are the cells surrounding neurons and often traditionally are considered to be not important for cognition, and neurons are the center of the universe. Um, but this view has been challenged, and actually uh, um, several labs at Glassstone uh, have been at the forefront of this challenge, and work from Leonard Mookie's lab showing that one type of the glia uh, is critical for ability to forget, and uh, the uh, drugs that, uh, such as caffeine can target these cells, and that leads to enhanced memory. So let's come back to aging. So what happens to those immune cells in aging? And not surprisingly, they age too. So we wanted to understand the molecular pathways that uh, happens in those aged immune cells. So we isolated those immune cells from old mice and from young mice, and we compa uh, com compare them gen uh, unbiasedly using um, their, their expression profiles, and then performed uh, analysis using bioinformatics tools. And one pathway or one network emerged from this analysis is one family 
of uh, these inflammatory cytokines. And the center, the central player of this family, is actually a cytokine that has been shown to be critical for memory. So if you put more of those cytokines in the brain, in the mouse brain, the mouse actually have impaired memory. So we then dig deeper. So what drives the, the, the uh, uh, upregulation of this cytokine? And then I'm going to return to the epigenetics uh, concept. So it turns out that um, the upregulation is linked to a loss of a chemical modification on the genome of the cytokine, so-called epigenetic changes, which normally act as silencers, or you could call it breaks, to its expression. So with aging, the loss of the break or silencer of, uh, in, this, in, the, in the aged immune cells makes, um, prime them, if you call it, mechanically, or almost literally, to make them more vulnerable um, to response to additional insults uh, occur in Alzheimer's disease as well as um, in other dementia. So we think that you know, this is one of the molecular underpinnings that drives the chronic inflammation that actually is a weakened breaks um, on the epigenetic level that controls the expression of some of those critical uh, pro-inflammatory cytokines. So, can we do something about it? And the answer is yes. Actually, um, we are very excited that one of the enzymes that um, is associated with longevity um, in the lower organisms and can be upregulated by fasting, unfortunately, and dietary restriction is actually enhancer of this modification on the epigenetic level. So it can enhance the modification uh, strengthen the break um, to this pro-inflammatory cytokine to suppress expression. And in mouse models, we found that this enzyme actually not only lead to um, suppression of these pro-inflammatory cytokines, but also improve memory uh, in a mouse model uh, of uh, Alzheimer's disease. So we're very uh, ex or encouraged by this exciting opportunities of targeting the immune cell, immune system in the brain uh, to disrupt uh, cognitive aging. And going forward, um, we wanted to understand um, more further define um, the aged immune cells, both molecularly and functionally, and then find out or develop strategies or even find a compound that can rejuvenate um, our aged immune system in the brain and to disrupt uh, cognitive aging. With that, I want to uh, turn the microphone to Christina.